Hey, what's up? This is Pete from Sanctus Rio. How did you come to join Sanctus Rio? How did it all start? It's actually a pretty crazy story because uh, I joined the band six years ago and I was living out in California, kind of not knowing what I wanted to do. I was actually working as a welder at a, at a metal shop and um, ended up just through circumstances like a friend's band of mine that lived in Nashville talked me into moving out there and so I moved to Nashville and I got to town and three months later I just get a call one day uh, from the, at the time, Sanctus' road manager who like, I kind of had met through other bands out in California and uh, wanted me to try out and so I learned three songs, went to a tryout and uh, left the next day on the road. I've played every show since, pretty much. What was the first show like? Were you nervous? Was it, yeah, was it a disaster? It was, was, it was it a little bit stressful because we, um, we did, like I think, 12 or 13 songs, and I had like a day to learn them. So I was in the... Then we, we didn't have our bus yet, so I was in our van um, with like the guitar in the back bench of the van <laughs> trying to learn all the songs. What's life like on the road? I mean... I mean, we see what's on the stage, but behind the scenes, getting ready, what all goes into a show? Yeah, I mean, there's quite a bit, you know. We have a lot of great, you know, crew on this tour. Um, and then we have, like, our own couple of crew guys that travel with us that really, like, lighten the load. And they do the bulk of the work, you know. There was a lot of years where we had our van and trailer, and we were driving, like, a production kind of truck, and we were setting up all the gear and driving overnight. But now we've kind of built a little bit of a team to help us on the road. But we, um, you know, like, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty busy schedule still. It's not, like necessarily a lot of hanging out like this morning we went and did like a two hour like um in store at like a bookstore and signed for a couple hours and it's fun though because we get i feel like we're at a point in our career where we don't have to like maybe set up gear as much and we get to hang more with our fans and friends you know on the road so we kind of get to like interact i guess with people that love the band a little more often when did you realize this was going to be a career and you didn't need a normal job you know, I, when I joined the band, I was working as a valet, and, um, you know, I was kind of going in between, you know, taking a few days off and going out on the road, and after that first run of shows, pretty much, like, I just quit my job, and, you know, it wasn't like, it's not, and it still isn't like, people think, you know, you make so much money doing this, but, like, it's such a normal job in that sense still, uh, to pay in the bills. But, you know, like we live this kind of like extravagant lifestyle where we travel constantly, like all over. But um, it's been great. You know, I'm able to pay my bills. I have a wife and a baby at home, and my wife doesn't have to work. And so it's, it's great, you know. Does she ever come on tour with you? She does sometimes. It's, uh, we haven't brought uh, our little girl out yet, but I think in uh, February they're going to come out for a weekend and see what it's like. What's life like when you get back home? Does it kind of like that, this reality check? Is Because I assume on the stage, it's one of those things where you're like, it's a moment, this is cool, and then yeah. you get back to the real world. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. I mean, Sunday night, we'll be playing a show for probably, you know, 12, 15,000 people. And Monday morning, I'll get off the bus, and I'll go home and start changing diapers. <laughs> it's total, like, you know, it's I, ju I jump right back into reality, you know? It's like every every weekend we come out, we play for all these people, meet all these people. It's a blast. But um, you know, we all are pretty much married in the band and have kids, and we're you know we just love being home with our families too. You know, that's that's what we look forward to every week. You know, you're not a real rock star too. You start changing diapers. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's, that's how true. it is. <laughs> um, who is it you find yourself hanging out most with on this tour? Is it is there one band over another? Or do you just kind of mingle? Well, I feel like. You know, we've been hanging out with the Building 429 guys quite a bit because actually um, our band's based in Ohio, but a few of us live in Nashville. And so we've been riding their bus out of Nashville just to get to our bus every weekend. So we've been getting a lot of, you know, good hang time in. Um, uh, Carrie Job is one of the artists on this tour, and her band, like all the guys in her band are great. Like we've been, we didn't know them before this tour, and they've become really good friends. So, Do you sneak out and try and see anybody? Oh, yeah. I, I, I like to watch everybody's set. I mean, everybody's killing on this tour. It's a great lineup, and I mean, I, I feel like the show is insane. For 10 bucks, you can't beat it. It's but um, I try and, after our set, make it out front to see these skillets 
uh, intro at least every night because I just I love watching the reaction of the fans during that. Like it's it's hilarious, you know, because they have like pyro and stuff, and like people just go crazy when they start their show. Will Saint Israel ever have pyro? I don't know. Would you I like it to have pyro? It, it could be cool. <laughs> it's a uh, it's hard to picture our set <laughs> with Pyro, our songs with Pyro, but uh, that could be fun. If we could find the right song for it, I think it could be fun, but that's a whole nother thing. You gotta have like a whole, you know, certified like Pyro crew out on the road, and, and that's that's like thousands of dollars a minute, you know, to do that. Um, what's next for Sanctus Real after Winter Jam? What's, what comes after that, after this tour is over? Uh, after this tour, we're actually heading back in the studio. Uh, so right at the end of April, we'll be starting our sixth uh, studio album, and uh, so we're kind of actually on this tour, spending a lot of our days um, writing for that album too. And uh, we've got a good amount of songs already, but we're still, you know, it, I mean, all the way up until we like finish recording, we're still writing for the record, trying to find like the best songs we possibly can in there. You know, is it hard to write on the road? It is. It's definitely. Um, because you, you know, you're set up in these locker rooms, basically, that have no, like, vibe, bright fluorescent lights, and it's hard to, like, get the feel, I guess, get inspired in a room like that. Um, we've done most of our writing for this uh, album, actually, at this cabin up in uh, Michigan. Some people we know own it, and they've been really generous, and they let us borrow it. So we'll, we'll actually go up there you know, on our off days, um, sometimes on the road for a few days and go right. And it's always, it's really productive there, I feel like. What's your reaction every time you walk out on stage and see either somebody lifting their hands or just seeing God at work through, through something like Winter Jam or the other various tours? I mean, that that's happened? actually, that's like the reason we do it. I couldn't justify, really, to myself, I couldn't justify... You know, having a daughter at home that's growing up and, you know, missing her dad, um, if it was just to come out and play music on the road. Like, I just couldn't, I would, it would just be, it wouldn't seem worth it to me. But to write songs, I feel like they actually change people's lives and, you know, impact them spiritually. Um, that's the reason we do it. You know, it's like that, that makes it worth it to, like, miss our families. You know, that makes it, it lightens the load, I guess. A little bit, you know, and it's just awesome, man. It's awesome to look out there and see people like, you know, worshiping God to, you know, some song that you, you know, because all of our songs, I feel like they come from genuine places. They mean a lot to us. So to see, you know, those lyrics connecting with somebody else the way they did with us is, is special. Yeah.